Star date 3628 point 33. We are in the Dexter 5 system on a mission to investigate signals from 2024. The signals seem to be coming from a time rift. We don't have much information about 2024 as it predates the AI wars of 2025 and 2026. Ensign Yates has been fabricating computing devices from the 2024 time period in the hopes we will be able to connect to what was called the Internet. Captain, I've located the source of the 2024 signals and have also detected a faint Wi-Fi connection to the Internet. Ensign Yates, are you ready to connect your computers to the Internet? Yes, Captain. We've been able to set up a bunch of default operating systems as much as we could construct from our records. Proceed. Ensign Yates to the bridge. I'm not sure why, but all of the computers are displaying a red skull on them demanding something called a Bitcoin. Captain, perhaps if we attempted to make contact with an expert from this time period, we'd have a better chance to understand the situation in the lab. What do you propose? I've been monitoring some of the data Ensign Yates has downloaded to the lab, and there is some sort of conference where computer experts from this time period gather called RSA. I propose abducting. Questioning? Yes, questioning an expert. I've locked onto one who is giving a talk right now. We can beam him directly to the lab and send him back at the same point in time. Excellent. Proceed. Where am I? You are on the Starship Elysium. We've traveled back in time to learn more about your technology. You are from the future, yet you need to know about my timeline? Yes. Not long from now, there will be devastating AI wars, which leads to some dark ages and data losses. Well, for being from the future, you seem to have a lab full of ransomware computers. Let me guess, the ship is in danger and I have to get rid of the ransomware? Oh, heavens no. We implemented secure by design technologies as part of our culture of data care centuries ago. But right now, the mission is on hold until we can connect to your internet securely. Our technology won't allow it, so we need to use tech from your time period. I see you have a variety of Windows devices. Did you add any type of security programs? What do you mean? These computers require more software to make them secure? Yes, otherwise they can get hacked and ransomware. Let me guess you try connecting to the internet without any protection. Exactly. What should we do? Well, for starters, I would fabricate a new computer and install a variety of protection based on the NIST cybersecurity framework. I was just at a cigar event last night sponsored by Gulatech Adventures and learned that Automox and Trinity Cyber can be used to patch computers and keep them from being exploited. I also learned that Huntress Labs can be used to monitor these computers for evidence of hackers gaining a foothold if they are able to bypass a system patched by Automox and protected by Trinity Cyber. Great. We have a clean set FO computers protected from exploitation and can send you back to the RSA conference. Wait, wait, wait. I still have a bunch of questions about your time period, though. You mentioned the AI wars. What is coming? We are unclear how it starts, but your internet is much more complex and interconnected than you realize, and multiple AIs will be installed shortly to watch for attacks. As these AI systems collaborate, they determined all humans are security risks and simultaneously lock everyone out of every connected device. You don't have AIs like ChatGPT or BARD in the future. I think even in your history tapes and entertainment, most computers with a name, HAL, Whopper, Colossus, were evil. In our time, every computer is just called computer and it's illegal to connect them to each other except to update their data banks under extreme supervision. You also seem to have no need to update your computer systems. Oh, we update them, but we have basically a religious priesthood, the curate's new code that is ensured be safe and not harm humanity. New features are basically illegal as well. Wow, that really must stink for playing games or watching entertainment. Oh, you mean recreational terminals? You can do anything you want with those, pretty much. 
Everyone knows you can fake messages and content there, but it is entertaining. I got it. You don't let your computers connect to each other. You have a secure network for messaging and a separate network for fun and entertainment. How do you guarantee access to data? In our time, all data is your data, and you have the right to share it with anyone you want to and revoke it whenever you want to. Any computer that access your data must be authorized by you. We call this data care. I think I've told you enough. Time to send you back to RSA. I would say good luck with your security conference, but you are doomed to fail defending from the AIs of your own building unless you learn the ways of data care and simplifying your IT systems. Star date 3628.45. As we expected, the world in 2024 was indeed not at all equipped to defend itself from the multiple of hostile AIs they were building. Ensign Yates was able to make contact with a cybersecurity expert and learned they were indeed unable to prevent the oncoming AI wars. Hey guys, Ron Gula, Gula Tech Adventures. I hope you enjoyed that video. Of course, the point of the video is to remind everybody that we are indeed in a business trying to protect very, very, very complex systems. These systems are so complex, they're probably beyond understanding in many, many, many different levels, especially their interactions. So as you're doing cybersecurity, as you're practicing data care, the more you can do to simplify where your data is, where the computers are at, the better off you're gonna be in the long run. If you enjoyed this, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, connect with us on LinkedIn, let us know what else you want to see. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day.